Hey guys, this video is just to show you the type of equipment that I use on a semi-daily basis. By no means do you have to get all of it, but at the minimum I suggest that you have a mat, a jump rope, and a set of dumbbells. So, here you go. Alright, so I just finished the first workout of the new series. It was tougher than I thought. That's what I always say. It's always tougher than I think it'll be. But um, it's short, so just push through as quick as you can. All right, so our first exercise is strict mountain climbers. So we're gonna get down in a plank and bring our knee to our opposite elbow. And switch, 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 switch. The strict mountain climbers are the first and last exercise in this workout. We're doing 100 of them at a time. I try and do 50, take a short break, and finish the rest out. It's tough, but you gotta push through. All right, so our next exercise is pike leg lifts. We're gonna get in the pike position with our feet together, and we're going to lift each leg back. 10 reps each leg. So next up we have burpees, your favorite. So we're going to jump down into a plank, push up, and jump back up. And we're doing 10 reps of those. If you want to omit the push up, feel free. If you can't do uh, a regular burpee, then you can also just walk it out. You can squat down, plank out, push up here if you want to or not, jump up. Whatever you can do. Next up, we have 50 air squats. So we're just gonna get in a squat position, knees behind our toes, and just pulse up and down for 50 reps. You're going to feel the burn at about rep 20. It's gonna be killer. All right, next we have dive bombers. We're going to get in a wide stance and get into a pipe position. Hands wide, feet wide. And you're going to act like there's a bar above your head and you're trying to get your body under that bar. If that's too difficult, you can always do it off of your knees. Or you push out, and back. Out, and back. All right, and we're gonna end with 100 strict mountain climbers again. I didn't show a modification, but if you can't do strict mountain climbers, and you can just do knee to chest, like high knees in the mountain climb. All right, you guys, so we've got day one down. I'm gonna start putting them out Sunday through Thursday so you can have them during the week. And I know working out is never really fun, but we do it because we want to remain agile, active, and healthy. Remember, working out, exercising will never be a waste of your time, so push through. All right, guys, welcome to the abs edition, add-on, whatever. <laughs> We're going to do 12 different exercises, 30 seconds each, each. Make sure you download an interval timer so you can just hear the 30 seconds go off each time. And let's go. All right, so our first exercise is flutter kicks. We're going to lay down, keep our head off the ground, and just kick up, alternating our legs. Next, we're going to do leg raises. I just keep my hands to my side, or if I want to challenge myself more behind my head, and we're just going to lift our legs off the ground together. Next, we're doing a leg extension. We're going to have our legs out, bring them in, touching our ankles. <laughs> this is great for lower abs. <laughs> 30. We got plank hops up next. So we're going to get in the plank and jump up, back, up, back, up. Yes, there's cardio and up. I'm gonna get on your nerves now because we're going into a plank. So we're just going to hold the plank for 30 seconds. Why would I do this to you guys? I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm really gonna get on your nerves. We have plank twist now. This is great for your waist. So we're gonna do 
in the plank again, or just stay in that plank and twist from side to side. Mm. All right, next we have Russian twist. This works really well if you have a weight, but if you don't have a weight, just be sure to touch your hands to either side. So we're gonna lift our feet off the ground and touch. We're almost done. Three more. All right, bicycle crunches. Lovely. Just gonna crunch. Try to bring your elbow to the outside of your knee. Now, regular crunches, but we're gonna hold our knees up and crunch, really squeezing our abs every time we go up. Make sure to get those shoulders off the floor. And lastly, we have standing toe touches. So we're just gonna stand and alternate our legs. We're not bringing our arms down, we're just bringing our feet up. And that is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little add-ons. It takes about six minutes each time. So minimal amount of time, maximum amount of effort. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll see you later. So we have six different exercises. We're going to do them for 15 reps each. I might amp it up to 20 after a week or two. It just depends on how I feel after the first time doing it. Senior Carrot, hello. So our first exercise is a standing side leg lift. And we're just gonna stand and lift our leg to the side. If you have a band to put around your feet, that would intensify this workout incredibly. We're doing 15 reps each leg. All right, next we have a plank leg lift. If you can't do this in a plank, then do it off of your knees. But we're just going to lift each leg 15 times. Each leg, you guys. <laughs> Keep that butt down. All right, next up we have donkey kicks. Again, in a plank. If you can't do it in a plank, do it off of your knees. We're gonna bring our knee in and kick out. 15 reps each leg. Whew. Next we have bridges. And we're going to lay down. And we're going to push up our pelvic area and hold for three seconds. Bring back down. Make sure to squeeze those glutes. All right, next we have single leg bridge. And we're going to hold one leg up and push up off of one leg. 15 reps each leg. Whew. Our last exercise is a superwoman. So we're going to lift our hands and feet off the ground, hold for three seconds, bring back down. 15 reps. Oh. All right, so this is the booty add-on. If you wanna do this an additional three times a week, do so. Um, I'm going to, and I just wanna see if it yields any results at the end of the month doing this three times a week, so let's see. Hi guys, I'm going to show you my stretching routine. It's full body, we do each stretch for 20 minutes, and I do it before every workout. It is important to stretch before each workout to prevent injuries later on. So, let's get into it. So first we're gonna start with our neck and we're just going to lean to the side. I place my hand on top, not applying pressure, just to do it. Uh, this is for 20 seconds and then we're going to switch to the left side for 20 seconds. Next we're going to stretch our arms. There's a cactus behind me. We're going to bring our arm across our chest, pulling it in at the elbow for 20 seconds. Switch. 20 seconds. Then we're going to cross our hands behind our head and push our elbows back, opening up our chest, opening up our arms. Mm, this 
one feels really good. 20 seconds again. Next is our back. I'm going to place my hands together and twist to the right side for 20 seconds and then to the left. Oh, this one feels good for 20 seconds. Next are our hips. So we're going to cross our ankle over opposite knee and push the knee down just ever so slightly. If you have to balance on something, please do. And then we'll switch into the other side. Next, we're gonna stretch our quads, grabbing our ankle behind our back. But hold on to something if you need to, and then you'll switch for 20 seconds. This has a lot to do with core engagement as well. Next, we're going to get in a wide stance and stretch to the right for 20 seconds, touching as far down your leg as you can, to the middle, to the left. 20 seconds. And then for the last 20 seconds, we're just going to take a deep breath in, bring our arms up. Exhale on the way down. That's a full body stretch, five minutes before every workout. I promise you it will help you in the long run. If you want to do it after your workout, you can. It has a nice cool down. But that's it. So prepare to work out. So I just finished day two, the workout. Um, it was great. It was fun. Uh, amazing. But um, we're doing a little something different today. So hope you're ready. So normally with these workouts, we do four to five different exercises. Today we're doing four exercises, um, 10 reps each. But instead of running through each exercise, we're going to do all the reps of the single exercise. So our first exercise is plank jump tucks. And instead of just doing 10 reps of those and moving on to the next exercise, we're doing 30 reps of them and then moving on to the next exercise. So plank jump tucks are done. We're never doing them again today. All right, so plank jump tuck is a burpee that I normally do, but it's not really a burpee. So we're going to jump down, jump into a plank, jump back up, and then tuck. If you, if you don't feel comfortable doing the jump tuck, you can always just jump straight up. And as always, you can walk it out. If you can't, jump back into a plank and jump up that way too. There's always variations. <sighs> so I never do 30 reps straight through. I always take a break after 10. So um, I do active stretching. So with this one, I'm just going to stretch forward after every 10 reps for about 10 seconds. All right, so our next exercise is knee hugs with a leg lift. So we're going to get on the ground and we're going to try not to let our feet touch the ground. So we're going to do a knee hug and a leg lift, lifting our butt off of the ground. To make this one easier, you can always keep your knees bent when doing the leg lift instead of keeping them straight. And the active stretch we're going to do here is a cobra stretch. So after every 10 reps, just roll over and come up in cobra. So our next exercise is jump lunges with a knee up. So we're going to do three jump lunges and drive our knee up to our chest. So whoo, that is one, two, three, up. If you don't want to do a knee up, I mean, so I didn't do jump lunges today. My knee is giving me some problems. So I just did a pulse lunge and a knee up and then switched. Pulse lunge, knee up, and that's it. And, and your active stretch after every 10 reps. Mm, just lunge it out, really stretching this back leg. Back leg. <laughs> 10 seconds. So our last exercise is pistol squats. We're doing five on each leg. I do mine off of a chair because I can't do one without assistance. The chair I was using does not fit through the door. So <laughs> we all know a pistol squat is a one-legged squat. So you will have something behind you and when you squat down onto your chair or bench, you're just lightly tapping your butt onto it and coming back up. Trying not to 
Touch your other foot to the ground the entire time. So we're doing five reps on each leg, 30 reps total. And after every 10 reps, I'm just gonna come and do a wide stance and stretch down to the middle. And that's it. So I hope this particular workout wasn't too difficult to follow. Remember, we're doing 30 reps total of each exercise. We're just taking a break at every 10 reps um, and doing an active stretch. If you wanna push through and do 20 or 30, by all means, do so. This workout today really kicked my ass. I'm not feeling the best. I'm, my body's not at 100%, but I pushed through anyway, did the modifications I needed to to get it done. And that's just what you have to remember. You will never waste your time working out. Remember that. Hey guys, unfortunately I'm back home to the same drab location I always work out in. But that's okay. You can work out anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. So let's get into day three. So today we're doing three different exercises for four rounds. I did five. Push yourself if you want to, um, but please try and do a minimum of four. You got it, push through. All right, so for the first exercise, we're doing jump squats. And for these, I really want you to get low and jump up as high as you can each time. So we're gonna have a pretty wide stance. We're gonna squat down low and jump up for 20 reps. If you can't continuously do a low jump squat, then whatever level you can get is great. Even if it's halfway, uh, a quarter of the way even is fine, but I really want you to try and do any type of jump squat instead of a standing squat. So our next exercise is side jump lunges. We are doing 30 reps. That's 15 each leg. I break them up into two sets of 15 because I can do 30 reps all the way through. So it's totally fine. So we're going to lunge to the side, touching our opposite hand to opposite toe, and then hop up and lunge to the other side and do the same thing. Same thing. Make sure you're really pushing your butt back and not uh, making your knee go over your toe. And if you can't do these, then you can do stationary side lunges. All right, next we have cross-legged push-ups. So we're going to get in a plank position. Ooh. Uh, try to keep your back as flat as possible. And then we're going to cross one of our feet over to the other. Oh my God, Dad, Jesus Christ. So cross one foot over the other and do a push-up. And then we're going to cross the other foot, push-up, other foot. My arms feel like jelly right now. If you want to make it a little easier, you can come up into a pike and do your push-ups that way. Or you don't even have to cross your feet and just do pike push-ups the whole time. These are challenging. Pike push-ups are still challenging, so do whatever you need to do. Push up off of your knees, push up off of the wall, whatever modification you have to make to get it done. That's all that matters. As long as you're moving, it's okay if you're not at, you know, an advanced level and you're just starting out. That's Today's workout was quite intense, um, but now it's your turn. You get to see how intense it is. So let's get started. Today's workout is seven different exercises. We're just doing them once straight through, but the first three are combo exercises, which basically combines two to three exercises into one movement. Uh, you will need a set of dumbbells. If you don't have them, try and find something weighted. All right, so our first exercise is a lunge sidekick combo. So we're going to lunge back and forth on the same leg, trying not to touch the ground. And also with that leg, we're going to kick out. That's one rep. I'll also show it to you this way. We're going forward, back, 
side kick. Ooh. One rep. Back, side kick. Two. So our next exercise is three movements into one. The first is a man maker push up, which is off of dumbbells, which I'll be doing off of my knees. And then we'll be doing bunny hops to the left side, the right side, and the center. And we're going to stand up and do five rows. So it'll look something like this. We're going to do a push up, bunny hop to the left, the right, the center, and then we're gonna come up and do five rows. I'll show you from the side. Push up, hop, 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 row. And that is all one rep, by the way. So the push up, the hops, and the rows, the five rows, that counts as one rep. And we're doing 10. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So our last combo exercise is three jump tucks followed by 10 side crunches and that is one rep. My jump tucks look so pathetic <laughs> because I was exhausted by this time, but you got it. <laughs> so with our jump tucks, we're just trying to jump as high in the air as we can, getting our knees as high as possible. So we're going to do three back to back. If you can't do all that, even if you just jump, that's fine. And after the jump tucks, we have side crunches. I'm using my lower hand to support me and my other hands on top. We're just gonna crunch. Try not to let your feet touch the ground. So this combo doesn't flow very well, but it'll look like this. One, two, three, go down, side crunch. After we finish the combo workouts, it's smooth sailing from here. We're gonna do 10 jump squats. Feet shoulder width apart, leaning down, jumping up, landing on the balls of our feet. Next, we're gonna do 10 sumo squats. So you're gonna have a wider stance. Try to touch your butt to the ground, hold your weights to your chest, and squat. Next we have 10 air squats. We're just gonna put our feet shoulder width apart, weight chest, weight to our chest, and then squat. It's easy, but it burns. For our last exercise, we're going to do single leg skaters. So we're gonna put one foot forward, other foot back. You're gonna to touch the opposite hand to the foot in front, and then power that back knee up. We're doing 10 on each leg. All right, and that's today's workout. Honestly, it felt really good. I'm glad that I pushed through and stuck with it. Uh, I'm gonna start putting my times at the beginning of the workout so you can try and keep up with me and beat me. Please, I hope you beat my time. Um, and also keep up with your own time. Please start logging down your times because I want you to keep up with it. I put out these workout series every other month and the month that I don't put them out, you still have those workouts from before so you can compare your times to see if you've improved. So. Kick ass and have a great week. <sighs> okay. Just finished the last workout of the week. That shit was intense. It's only 12 minutes. But boy. <laughs> so today we have a 12 minute AMRAP. We're seeing how many uh, rounds we can complete in 12 minutes. I did a 10 minute jump rope circuit before. And I'm doing the ab add-on after, which is another six minutes, so, whew. All right, so our first exercise is a plank pull plus a plank jump. We're doing 10 of these. You're going to need a weight. Um, I have the heaviest weight uh, on hand, which is 20 pounds. Get something as heavy as possible. So we're going to jump into a plank, and then we're going to pull the weight as far back as we can with one hand. 
Jump back up, turn around, and do a plank jump. So it'll look something like this. Plank, pull, jump, plank jump. Plank. If you want a modifier, I would just eliminate the plank jump as it is to where you're only doing the plank pull and the other jump. Plank pull, jump. I Next we have 20 goblet squats. We're going to hold our dumbbell like a goblet. If you don't have a dumbbell, then just get something heavily weighted. We're going to have a wide stance and squat as low as we can, squeezing our glutes on the way up. Next we have 20 side hops. I have my dumbbell here as a marker, um, but we're just going to jump from side to side. Ooh, 20 reps. If that's too difficult, then you can always do a single jump. So you can do a single leg jump as an alternative to using both feet. So just hopping from side to side with one leg as if you're running in place, but side to side. So our last exercise is a plank jack with a side knee hug. So we're gonna get down into a plank, keeping our back flat. We're gonna do a jack, turn to the side, hug our knee, plank. So in motion, it'll look like this. Jack, side, whoo, knee hug, plank. Jack, side, knee hug, plank. Jack, side, all right, now that's our last workout for the week. We got through week one. We have three more to go. And remember, this is an AMRAP. You're trying to push through as many rounds as possible. I only got two rounds. If you only get through the first exercise, that's fine. Just push yourself.